Round, round, The reason, the reason, reason. Rhyme and reason, Rhyme and reason. Peace, everybody. It's your boy LG. Um, today we here to hear the. We here to hear. All right. We are here to listen to my the rhyme and reason for my latest project, Vocabulary Hercules. Right. So the title itself actually came from a song. I did with Sean Price called Neo Spawn. And in the beginning, the first couple of bars, I say, uh, I'm most certainly the black Ron Burgundy, you heard of me. Street surgery, I put a bullet in your perjury. Hollow tip mercury. Everybody's here for one purpose, and that's to hear vocabulary Hercules. And as you know, after I said I was like, damn, vocabulary Hercules, like those are you know. So strong words right there, like. So it always stayed in my mind. And I was like, I'm gonna use it for something, either a title or a song. But I decided to name a project because it sound it's it's so it sounds so strong, and uh, you know. So when it was time to do this project, I pretty much had to give it the name. Vocabulary Hercules. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it was gonna mean something totally different, but I had to get a, a by myself meeting and to change it to something else because I was gonna go with uh, what I normally do with the super lyrical shit, but I, I, you know, I had to tone it down and I, I learned that uh, just because it's super lyrical doesn't mean it's better. So um, I wanted to show how strong lyrics can be simplified. <clears throat> so that's what I was, uh, you know, basically showing the strength of simplicity and being more relatable to uh, the people who like my music. So that's how we come up with the title of Vocabulary Hercules, which is out now. You can go get it, Illogy.net. I would prefer you to go to Illogy.net and get it. Um, that's that's the uh, the rhyme reason and the title why the project is titled Vocabulary Hercules. First uh, track off it is Gold Soap, uh, produced by my people Jules Polar. Uh, he's one of the people that's a part of my beat team. You know, like Puffy had the Hitman. I have like a beat team. And we don't have a name yet. Don't have a name for him. I don't know what to call him. You know, they all don't know each other, so on and so forth. But these are people I go to uh, quite a few times for, you know, for beats. And, you know, we're working on finding a different grimy sound, you know, that fits me to go forward, you know, to get everything there. So, um... That works for me anyway. Anyway, we spoke over the phone. I wanted to do something different, you know, since everybody is kind of pushing toward the Griselda sound or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Shout outs to, you know, Griselda, uh, you, know, uh, you know, many praises for them. And, you know, wanted to do something different, but kind of up-tempo, you know what I'm saying? So, after we spoke, like a day or two later, you know, he spoke to me, he told me, he sent a couple beats to my email, listened to these beats, and I heard the beat for Gold Soap. I was like, that's it. You know, it's, it's totally different, but yet the DJs can play it. It's, you know, it to me, for me, it sounds left field from what I normally do. And, you know, I came up with gold soap. It just made me feel like, you know, you're a king taking a bath with gold bars of soap. It's, it's pretty much just saying I'm on a different level than other people. I'm, I'm on a different plane, you know what I'm saying? I'm, these, I'm taking baths with gold soap. You know what I'm saying? Moving like a whole coast. 
and it seemed like the my verse was like written effortlessly, <clears throat> you know, without even trying. And then, you know, after a while, I stopped and thought about the chorus, how the beat pattern was. So the first thing that just came to my mind was, don't do, you know, because, you know, I don't do the things that you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to follow everybody else. I'm trying to, you know, have my own line, my own things, my own sound. And, you know, won't do, I won't do it if it don't feel right. You know what I'm saying? It's actually the truth. Like, you know, I got the world in my sights. And, you know, it just, it just flowed together. So I was just like, I'm going to take a chance on that after we did it. And be like, yeah, that's got to be the first single off the project. And, you know, just moving different, man. You know what I'm saying? Being a king, taking baths with gold soap. Second song of the project is called So Emotional. Produced by my people, Wavy the God. Um, another tough one that I get very good responses for. Um, My thought process when I wrote this was how my emotions changed from being the neighborhood barber to the neighborhood criminal. Basically, that's that's about it. Um, also being traumatized by street life. The beat made me want to rhyme about a few issues that I've been through. And it was just, also the title itself was, you know, being emotional is a play on words of like, oh, I'm so emotional even though I do have uh, something called PTSD. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but I do. And uh, I just started, I just started saying, I'm emotional, mm, so emotional, you know what I'm saying? For you know, people that know me, I joke around a lot, so I just kept saying I'm emotional. And uh, you know, I'm just talking some, you know, real different things. I'm a person that you shouldn't bother. I was G the barber. Now I'm G the fire starter in the face of martyrs. So, you know, if you know anybody that knows me, you know, they used to call me Jeter Barber in my hood until situations happened and things had to go down where things changed. So that's what it is. So that's where my my thought process was for So Emotional. Shouts out to once again to Wavy the God. Beat is fire. I beat is crazy. This always track three. Now this is for me and the comic book uh, world, Marvel world. Uh, one of my attributes is Galactus because you know he the pretty much to survive he devours planets. So I see this rap world as a planet that I must devour, and you know to live. And produced by uh, my people, shout out to my people, uh, Fillmore Green. He introduced me to these guys. I don't know if it's one person, or, but it's called International MC, I-N-T-L-M-C. These dudes, it's dope. When I heard the beat, it just made my face squinch up. Like the bass line on that beat is so, it's so powerful, man. Like. It just made me think different. So I just like, I just, it made me think of devouring planets, everything, anybody, whoever. So <clears throat> that's where the concept came from that. Um, shout outs to uh, International MC. Send me more beats, goddammit. 
send more. If you're gonna make stuff like that, send more of that, but yeah. Galactus Awakes. Yeah, if you get it, you know what I'm saying? A vampire made of leeches. Who the fuck says that? Yeah, I'm telling you, y'all don't be listening to what I'm saying. Next is Hater. Produced by Jules Polar. He the one that did uh, Gold Soap. Um, shouts to him. The thing about Hater, once I heard the beat, I loved the I love the bass on it. I love the bass and the fact that it was up tempo. So I was like, okay, you know, could send that to DJs or so on and so forth. And <clears throat> I started thinking about how naturally you can't like anything anymore. If you don't like it, you know, you don't have to like everything, but if you don't like it, you're automatically a hater. So I was like, God, like, I'm just thinking like, God, damn, like, you just can't naturally like it. I got to be a hater if I'm not feeling it. You know, I don't call you a hater. Everybody's not going to feel my music. I don't call them haters. It's just their opinion. They don't like it. They don't like it. So I said, fuck it. Just label me a hater then. And I just write everything that, you know what I'm saying, how certain things I don't like. And I just like, fuck it. If you feel like me, you need to say it. I'm a hater. <laughs> and that's how the whole situation came up with hater. The blame. Beat, this is my favorite track on the album. Favorite track, so personal. The Blame is produced by Crummy Beats. Shout out to Crummy Beats. They just, they make that shit that fits me. Like so, so, so good. Uh, Crummy Beats also is a part of my beat crew that I go to often for that good, grimy, elegy sound. I mean, you know, we try to mesh and bring that together, but I was just hearing stuff that they put online. This was different, and I was just like, send me that. Send that to me now. Um, plus, you know, Crummy Beats, you know, they're out of Virginia, and they always make different styles of beats. They're not afraid to make any type of beat, but I know that certain thing that I heard you know, I liked it. I was like, this is it. Yeah, send that. So, um, <clears throat> I started thinking about for a short period of time getting blamed for things from the street and other situations. You know, I was getting the blame. So, that's where the title and the concept came from. You know, I started mixing my street life with philosophy, with, you know, what I experienced in life and uh, everything, every line is heartfelt. Like, for the, especially that, that goddamn second verse, every line is heartfelt. And it resonates with me on another level. So I hope it hits y'all the way it does for me. But the blame, that is like, that is like that level right there. So once again, shout out to Kirby Beach for that. For that, that is amazing. That beat is amazing. My life. <clears throat> Once again, produced by Crummy Beats. Uh, another powerful beat I heard on their page and I told them, send that to me immediately. 
it to, to me it sounds like a like a hardcore flashback like has a, a mist a mist to it that made me think about my life and I, I decided to talking about growing up in the projects and some numb from some of the houses uh, and once again my street life experiences you know what I'm saying and I, I think one of the most powerful lines on there is you know life is such an evil bitch and that bitch won't come so I use it like a lesbian tongue You, you gotta like be you had to be in the realm and time of the things that was going on in the hood and that that should resonate with you period you know if you listen and break that down it's just like I don't even I'm not even gonna say nothing about it like y'all y'all do what y'all do about it cause I, I know what I do like, once again my life uh shout out to Crummy Beats in the building. Thank you for letting me uh, making that connect with that beat. How? Another incredible track produced by Black Milk. Um, shout out to Black Milk. I met Black Milk in Czech Republic at Hip Hop Camp in Czech Republic. And, uh, you know, we got to kick it so on and so forth and you know I know he's a, a dope producer you know so I wound up you know getting the beat from him this was tough it was dramatic it was hardcore I had the boom back like it was just to me it was like a perfect beat just thinking about it I knew I had to talk about things that was happening in my life. <clears throat> you know, basically, you know, how the streets don't love you, the street life, you know, realizing that the streets don't love you. You know, after a while, the, the way he played the keys, after a while you start following you know, how you try to escape when things are not going your way. So, I know a lot of people try to escape through liquor, weed, or anything. You know, you try to escape through sex, or whatever. Whatever you do, you try to escape for, for, for the pain. So, the way it's played, I just kept humming until I found the words to, the words to it. I smoke that weed for my pain, the streets tell, the pain tells me streets don't love me, cause they don't, the streets don't love you at all, not one time did I get a letter from the streets, not one time did I get a visit from the streets, and I've talked about this, like how the streets don't love you a while ago, like on projects, but y'all need to go check that out, uh, so one, the first one I did is called A Beautiful Lie. But this one, for my pain, is just like, it's trying to escape and you can't. Because once that high come down, or once you come down from whatever you want, your problem is still gonna be right there waiting for you like this. But, I gotta realize, like, uh, the streets don't love you and, you know, I combine both ideas and emotions, and that's how For My Pain was born. Once again, shout out to Black Milk. Salute. You and Me, uh, produced by my boy Preach, someone else who's a part of my beat group that I go to uh, often for beats. Um, this had a groove and a rhythm to it that, you know, 
I don't know what he was on when he made it, but he made that motherfucker there. You know, the sample he used, it was just so, to me it sounds like California, I'm not gonna lie, it sounds like California, uh, you know, I remember driving on the coast and just listening to music and you know, that's what it made me feel like. And it just automatically made me think about a story rhyme. Um, so got the thought of a story rhyme. What can we talk about? What? So I just thought about uh, depression. And so, so that's when you did the you know story comes up about me meeting a girl. Uh, she's pretty. She has a big butt. Shout out to all the women with natural big butts. I love women with natural big butts. Um, you know, I knew her cousin. I introduced myself at a bar. You know, like I said, I, I knew her cousin. You know, met her at a bar, talk, whatever. Got it to her mom, we left, we had sex. And, you know, pretty much my, you know, in the story, I'm a guy that don't want to deal with her after that. But after we had sex, she said, I love you. And that's like, whoa, baby, I don't know about all that. But then down the line, you know what I'm saying, things happen. She was like totally obsessed with the person on the song and trying to break into the house and yelling, I want to have your kids. And then I see her cousin again. The cousin tells me that, uh, you know, she suffers from depression. And, you know, it's it's a dope story. Listen to it. Shout outs to Preach. Motherfucking you and me. That is a tough, tough song. Very amazing groove on that. Word. So, Love Got Hate. Love Got Hate is produced by Audible Doctor featuring Fever More Fire Martyrs um, from East New York, Brooklyn. Salute G, because the title to me is like everything. Even though you're like awesome with titles, we know this. But the title for this was everything because love got hate. Like, think of anything that you love. I'm pretty sure there's something that you probably hate about it or dislike. Since hate is such a strong word to some, for the sensitive folk. But love definitely has hate. Love got fucking hate, okay? I know in my verse I said niggas bleeding if I can't get big in the shit. But get it? Niggas bleeding if I can't get big in this shit. There ain't no campaigning. They rigging this shit. No rapping on Bible. They jigging this shit. No capping. I will snatch you off your wig in this shit. That's just how I feel, guys. You know, this is how I feel about hip hop. This is how I feel about hip hop. I love it and hate it, but I love it. And that's what's most important. Love, God, hate. Salute to Illa G, yo G, you killed it again. Uh, me and Audible Doctor supposed to have got up with each other and did something a while ago, but we never got a chance. So finally, through Instagram, we talk, linked up, he sent me a few beats. In those beats, I heard the beat for Love Got Hate. Um, immediately fell in love with it. Loved the emotion and, you know, the whole vibe of the whole sound of it. So, um, it made me think about how people show try to show you love when their heart is filled with hatred. So that's the first thing that came to my mind. Um, I wanted Fever on it because I wanted to show a different side of Fever because, you know, Fever could get busy with the bar. So I wanted people to see a different side, like a topic side or whatever. And I sent it to her and she knocked it out of the park. Of course, I knocked it out of the park, but, you know, and it just became a, a, a dope song, man. That's it. A dream, 
A dream is produced by uh, True Mentals. Uh, True Mental is someone I met from Instagram, producer from Instagram, you know, asked me to give him a shot, told him to send me a few things, and one of the beats in that pack was a dream. Well, well, we now know it as a dream. And it was very, it was very calming. The beat I heard was very calming. And, uh, you know, it just gave me the idea of thinking about, you know, my dreams that I gotta make happen. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I have to keep pushing for my dream, keep pushing for my dream, which is to have uh, a signature song that everyone knows me for. So, um, I asked my artist, my other artist, featuring Pretty Bully out of Buffalo, a uh, very dope artist, female artist. She, as you can tell, she get busy on the song. So, you know, I sent it to her and, you know, she did what she did. So, you know, shouts to True Mentals for the track and, you know, I'm gonna let Bully explain why, you know, how she felt about it. Good morning, my beautiful people. It's your girl, Pretty Bully. And this video is for me to explain a track that I had the pleasure of being featured on is Elegy's A Dream. Now, the process of this track, it happened eh, rather quickly because we was actually on the phone and he came up with the concept. He like, yeah, I got an idea for this track and he even had the format already set up. She's a vet, you know what I mean? So it, the process was quick. You know, I had to keep up. But uh, he um, he told me he wanted the, the bar count to be set up, like two verses, 20 bars a piece, and we would do a 10 and 10. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm with the shit again. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> so uh, he sent me the first verse. I had my rebuttal. But during the process of me writing my first 10, he sent me his second 10 for the following verse. So it was like, I kind of had to, since I was starting off the second one, I kind of had to write backwards, but it was okay. You know, like I I feel like, I, you know, I was rising to the occasion. I had to, you know, but I love the way the track came out. And another fun fact about this track it was actually the first time i recorded myself because we were quarantining so like having access to studio sessions it wasn't as available as it usually would be you know so i recorded myself for the first time and i remember sending it to g and i'm like nah it's off it's like a millisecond off i can hear it it's starting off slow and you know he like bully is good I'm like, nah, G, <laughs> you know, like I'm a worst critic, but um, overall, I love the track, you know, I feel like it came out really dope. I love its raw nature, you know, because it, it has a story behind it, even though we're telling a story, it had a story behind it also, you know, and it was a pleasure to be able to work with him on it and it'll be many more to come. Congratulations on the release of your new project. Mwah. Last but not least is credit card. Credit card is, you know, once again is produced by one of my favorite producers ever, uh, Crummy Beats. And credit card felt uh, of a, a sense of sadness and like triumph at the same time if that makes sense um plus you know it just had that reflection it made me want to reflect so you know the verse itself has nothing to do but the chorus you know me learning about uh credit cards and financial shit so i just wanted to throw something in there that just make you think about that if that's something you're into or something you want to look into because you know it's it's possible there's people out here you know i see my credit is building and it's you know there's people out here that can buy a house with a credit card and that would that wouldn't be a bad goal now would it to be able to flip out a credit card and buy a house with it so you know 
but it made me go in, the, the beat itself made me go in as a, a reflection. It makes me want to reflect on life, you know what I'm saying? You know, thoughts I would say, that's why I was like, you know, trying to knock off a badge in a blue suit. I'm caught inside a hula hoop with a chick feeding me fruit. That's like just really just, you know, I'm keeping my circle small. These niggas is not listening to me, man. That That is a, a hell of a thing. It's like caught inside a hula hoop. You know, hula hoop ain't but so big, but that's just saying I'm keeping my circle small with a chick feeding me fruit. Whatever, man. But shouts to Curry Beats. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy this project. I, I, I totally love the creative process of making this project. Um, you know, I'm working on other things now. I'm not going to tell you the names. I know y'all look forward to the names, but, or should I? Should I tell you the name? Nah, yeah, well, the next thing I'm working on is something called Oatmeal Soda. So I know, you know, there's quite a few Elegy fans that look forward. Yes, I said oatmeal soda. So I'm not breaking down the title to that. Guys, y'all gotta wait till that project come out. And I do a rhyme and reason for that project. But once again, thank you for tuning in to watching Rhyme and Reason. Shout outs to Fever More Fire. Shout outs to Pretty Bully. Shout outs to all the producers who, you know what I'm saying, that made the project Crummy Beats, Jules Polar. True Mentals, uh, Audible Doctor, um, if I forgot you, I'm so, so sorry, because people have to, oh, Wavy to God, thank you, Wavy to God, and, uh, yeah, that's it, so, tune in to, I'm, I'm have to go back and do more of these rhyme and reasons for old projects, you know, because, you know, I get quite a few questions and, you know, about so-and-so, what it, you know, what was my meaning when I said this and said that? So I'm going to go back and do all the previous projects and break down the rhyme and reason for that. So I know I said goodbye like three times, but salute. My name is Illa G. This is brought to you by Illa Apparel. Go to uh, IllaApparel.net. Um, Illa G TV on YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. This helped the algorithm. Uh, make people see more of the video or more videos I have. I have a whole list of things. You know, check out A Beautiful Lie. Check out my web series, New York Minute. And also all my videos. So thank you once again. Slap hoes, eat bacon, the incredible mathematics of rap. Ella, vocabulary Hercules.